without further ado, we we'll start talking about the 3D camera. So let me find a background for that. Make a new folder. Parallax 3D BG. And then we'll just grab this old. All right, same thing as before. We'll use the the backmost background and make that the comp. And then we'll call this 3D G. All right, and then we'll just drag the rest of these in. And then we just got to reorder them. All right, let's go back to the camera. Now, um, if you turn all these into a uh, 3D layer, you can click on camera rig. I'm gonna show this first. This would be the easiest to explain. Click on camera rig. It'll say there's no camera. You have to make a camera to click on the camera rig. If you don't have a camera, it won't work. So you first wanna make a camera. And I usually, I don't know why I do this, but I usually use 35 millimeter. It seems to be my standby default. So I'm gonna use that. And then I click on camera rig. And now we have a camera rig. The reason why you wanna do use the camera rig for do it is because if you go and try to do all this without these three layers, you have to manually do all, like play around with these keyframes, which can be a kind of a hassle but having the camera rig makes things more convenient. I'm not gonna go over the same stuff I went over in the previous video with the 2D camera, because this is all the same stuff. That's the same stuff, we went over that. The easing is more convenient with the 3D, so you can control that. You got random motion, which is kind of like more tweaking of this. Then you got the camera shake that you can add, all oh, that's the same. So this is the settings of the camera. Then you have the camera itself. So if you hit the position, you can play with the camera. So this kind of like does this, this controls the camera's angle. And then you have the camera target. target. So the camera target, target can be altered like this. Now keep in mind these two settings, you're not gonna really need to use. And then you have, let's go to the camera itself. So if you hit the P, this is going to move the camera up and down, just like that. And then this is going to make it zoom in and out, just like this. And then this is going to make it move left and right. Now you might be noticing, like, wait a second, there's no parallax. What's going on? So we're going to have to select all the layers again and click on Scale Z-Link. We've got to do this first before we do anything else. So we're going to select them all, and then we're going to click Scale Z-Link. So now what's going to happen is that whenever, however we scale these uh, layers, it's not going to matter if they change size, but it will matter what Z axis or point there are in 3D space. So once you've done that, now you can move the layers in Z axis since you clicked on scale Z link. So I'm going to switch to top view it is the front. I'm going to keep that where it is. This is also the, the ground. We'll keep that there. Then we got this layer. This is the trees. This is like the back tree. So this should be underneath. So I'm going to push this back. Now, if I push this back, you'll notice that the size and the scale doesn't change which is by design. That's why you use the uh, Z-Link. If you were to push it back, then you would notice that the image will get smaller. So I'm pushing all these back in order, so that way the moon is at, it's the farthest back. So that way the parallax works pretty well. So look how far I got the moon. Got the Z-Link set, but you gotta disable the Z-Link before you can animate. So just basically, highlight all of these layers, then just click on Z-Link. All right, now, so you can see, there's a little bit of a subtle parallax. Now, if it's not enough parallax, all you gotta do is go back into top view and you can make, or if you don't wanna go in top view, you can go 
this is what happens when you don't have the Z-Link on. So I'm pushing this back into um, Z-Space, and that's what it looks like when you don't have Z-Link set up. You see how the moon is not really changing its spacing because it's so far away. Now, but the, everything else is pretty close. So I'm going to now do Z-Link for all of these. But now what I need to do is space this out even more. So I have to go back into the top view. Yeah, see where you see where the moon is? That's pretty far. Let's bring the moon right about there. Bring this about right there. And then bring these are the trees. Let's bring the trees about there. And also it's also it's pretty good to make sure you name your layers so you don't be looking at like layer three, like not know what the hell that's supposed to be. So this is what it looks like when you use the 3D camera and you're using Z-Link to scale stuff. Same thing with the uh, parallax pedestal, or we call it the boom when you're filming. So there's a up and down boom tracking. And then we have the, the tracking left to right. All right, so you have successfully passed the 3D, 2D camera tutorial. Congrats.